Hi guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another episode where I spend a whole lot of money so you don't have to. Today we're going to be looking at silicone sealants. There's a lot of information out there that's pretty contradictory on fish forums where people will recommend something like GE Silicone 1 when you're doing an acrylic installation and it doesn't stick at all. So I went out to every store in my area and I bought every single kind of silicone on the market. We're going to be looking at how they actually perform on a test sheet of silicone before I put the window into my new tank that I'm building. This is information that is pretty useful. If it sticks to the acrylic, you should have absolutely no trouble with bonding the acrylic to the glass, because basically any silicone will stick to glass, both of them being silica. So before I start rambling, let's just go ahead and jump right in. This is going to smell so bad. So let's look at how these actually perform. Here, I've got the silicone just on straight acrylic. Here, I've got the same silicones, but I've scratched the acrylic heavily with some sandpaper. This is what you really want to do if you're going to be binding something. You just protect your edge with a little bit of tape, scratch it up really well, and put it on, because nothing is going to stick to this. So the first thing we're going to look at is everybody's favorite, GE Clear Silicone 1. This is the thing that you see recommended the most on forums. There are some people that argue that it's garbage. That's sort of my attitude towards it. But people seem to say that it's good enough. So, no scratches, comes right off. Absolutely no issues. With scratches, holds a little better. But I don't really consider that good enough to hold anything. GE tub and tile came off even easier than the other and the scratches it holds significantly better. I'm having a lot of difficulty pulling this off. So because this is formulated to be able to stick to plastic tub linings. You can see there's a lot more here that didn't come off easily versus the silicone one. Next thing we're going to look at is silicone two. Now believe it or not, this is perfectly safe for your fish as long as you give it time to cure. All of the horror stories about this causing problems are because people don't cure it enough. That's, that's really something for another video. So let's go ahead and look at this now. So I've got Silicone 2 here, again, no scratches, garbage. Over here, that was not entirely cured. So that's, that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. Everything else here is perfectly cured, perfectly well. This is gummy and came off cleanly. Gorilla Clear. Now this tore and pulling off, so even without scratches, this is holding significantly better. I'm having a hard time pulling this off. So this is a definite, definite improvement. It is a little bit hard to find this in all of the places in town that I looked. I only found this in Lowe's. So this is, this is not coming off. Now if we find it over here in the scratch section, same situation. I cannot remove this if I wanted to. This will require a scraper to remove. So, Gorilla, great if you're using acrylic. Do it best, all-purpose silicone rubber and sealant. Uh, this is much clearer than the others. We'll see if it performs with any quality. Not really. This is sticking significantly better than the GE components. So if we find it over here, it scratches. This is also sticking very well. The only thing that I can get off is areas that have absolutely no contact. But once, once there's a good contact, it's just ripping. 
This is not nearly as good as the Gorilla, but it is far superior to either of the GE ones, and it's a lot clearer. So if you're looking for a clear silicone, this was by far the clearest of all of them that I had. GE for plastic sheets. This I had a little bit of issue with. I bought a large tube of it, and the large tube was bad. So a week later, what I squirted out here is still gummy. So I had to go back and I had to buy a smaller one. The smaller ones ended up being more expensive than the large tubes, which is ridiculous. So let's give this a shot. It does not want to come off. There we go. Okay, so that's not that's not terribly impressive, really. There's just there's just an end that won't remove. The rest of it came off without any issues. This is not great there. Let's try it over here on the scratches. With the scratches, this holds as well as the gorilla with minimal scratching. I take back everything good I have to say about this. This is garbage. DuPont kitchen and bath. And that comes right off. Didn't hold there at all. Next we're going to look at DAP commercial kitchen. This had a little bit scratched up already. It does not want to come off at all. Over here in the scratch areas, I can kind of force it up. But it's pretty hard. This holds decently. Um, I can I can really really tear at it here. This is, this is not bad. DAP, window, door, and siding. This is a black silicone that holds pretty well in large quantities, but thin strips don't hold at all. is not great. Marine Land Aquarium Sealant. That one comes off pretty cleanly. If we look at it around the scratches. It does hold very well. So I hope you found that informative. Again, in order of performance when you're doing actual acrylic bonding, Gorilla Sealant, 100% silicone, uh, it comes in white and clear. This is by far the winner in my tests. This one, I cannot get off of either cleanly. I'm very impressed with how this performed. DAP Commercial Kitchen, it is food grade, so it's perfectly safe for anybody that's super paranoid about performance. Uh, this is definitely what I would use if you're not comfortable using something like the Gorilla, which is not certified for food contact. Marineland, it is super expensive. You can see this little tube cost me $9.30, whereas each of these bigger tubes ran me probably $6 each. So this is pretty pricey, but it does work. Uh, I've got to give it that. It works pretty well. And the distant fourth is the do it best clear sealant. Somehow in my hobbies with aquarium stuff, the stuff that I get at the do it best store always surprises me. They've got pure ammonias with no additives, they've got sponges which are safe to use in aquarium filters, and they've got generic brand silicone that actually works and it's clear. It's a lot clearer than the rest. So this I've been really impressed with. Not so impressed that I would actually use it, but if I was in a situation where I needed clear silicone and I really wanted something that I knew was going to hold and I wasn't going to see as much, I would definitely reach for this. But all the rest of these are complete garbage. I would absolutely stay away from them, no matter how many other things you've seen on forums saying, 
this is great, this is great, anything's going to stick. Obviously, that's not the case. Obviously, in a lot of these situations, it doesn't matter how many scratches you put on, it doesn't matter how much work you put into trying to give it a surface to stick to, some of them just won't. These two work well because they are adhesives first and sealants second. There's a lot of variance in silicone technology. There's a lot of different formulations, different curing types. A lot of people uh, recommend that you go out of your way to get, you know, Momentum RTV or GE construction or things like that. And we've seen that really isn't necessary. You can get some really high quality stuff locally, but you're going to have to look for it because these are things that aren't going to be in every store. You're not going to find them in Walmart. You're not going to find them in Ace. You're only going to find one of these at a do it best. So your best bet is to browse through Lowe's and Home Depot, maybe get the custom ordered on the website and shipped in if you're somebody that doesn't like to shop online. But there are things available locally which will do very well for you. So that's it. I hope you found that informative. If you did, I hope you share this video for anybody else that would find this kind of information useful. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.